Hello friends, you might have searched on Google and noticed that whenever you start typing some letters of the word you want to search for, for example, over here, for typing C-A-L, Google has provided me some suggestions or some what suggestions. So, by just knowing some prefix that we want, we get suggestions. How do they do this? One possible solution to this is using the data structure called tries. So in this video we will learn how to use tries. Ultimate goal of arranging any data into structure is that the insertion, searching and deletion operation of data is efficient. Using tries, the insertion and searching time of any data is a constant time. So Tries are based on the concept that each and every data element have a unique key. Tries come into concept of data structures, arrays and pointers in an interesting way. In tries, we use the data as a path to navigate to a final destination where we want to store the data. So this is how a node of a try looks like. So every node of a try consists of one field which is the data that you want to store and other field is an array of pointers now tries is a self-referential uh, self-referential data structure now you might have used trees when in trees you might have observed you have a pointer pointed towards left node and right node similarly in tries we have pointers but here there are array of pointers which point towards another node of its own kind. Now let us insert a key value pair 1045, 10045 and John. Now 10045 is the key and John is the value. In key each and every character represents the index of the array which of the array pointer now let us see how we insert this key value pair into the data structure try now as i told each and every character is an array index now one means you will see if a of one points towards any node right now over here a of one points towards nothing so we will make a new node and point a1 towards it now next character is zero Again, a of 0 points towards nothing, so we'll make a new node. Next is again a of 0 points towards nothing, make a new node. Now next character is 4. a of 4 also points towards nothing, make a new node. Now next is 5. 5 points towards nothing, make a new node. By the time you render for a string, you have actually made a path like this. If you take a temporary pointer and point it towards the root, you can traverse a complete way through this path to reach to the data. Now when we are at the last character and we make a new last make a last node, we store the value in the last node's data. So here we have inserted John successfully who has a key of one double zero four five. So one zero zero four five John inserted. Now let us insert a new data value. So three six two five three. Let us follow the same procedure as we followed before. So here we can trace our way to this path to reach to clay finally. Now let us insert a new data that is one zero one five three name is Peter now so we want to insert one zero one five three Peter we see that a of one in the root is already filled up and then next a of zero is also filled up and then next is five we see that five isn't filled up that is it's not pointing towards anything so we'll again make a new node and point five towards it next is three as we can see 3 is again pointing towards nothing. We will make a new node 
so this is how you insert data into trace now let us say you want to search the value for a given key so let us search an existing key one let us search for 36253 so you will take a temporary pointer and start from the root node it will start traversing from the root node so a of 3 the next is 6 so you'll go to a of 6 next is 2 you'll go to a of 2 the next a of 5 a of 3 and then clay so you have found clay successfully now let us see a case where we are searching for a key that doesn't exist in try let us find a key 3633 3. so we go to 3 then we go to 6 now in 6 we see that 3 points towards nothing right now so it points towards nothing means there would be no data that exists with a key called 36533 so you return that you have found no key or you have not found any data for the key 36533 so this is how inserting and searching of data takes place in tries let us now see an algorithm for insertion and searching of key value pairs in a try now over here is an algorithm for inserting a value in the try so we enter it in a loop, a for loop that starts from zero and runs up till we reach the last character of the key. We take a pointer, a temporary pointer and point it towards the given root. Then we compute the index using this formula over here. Now the try has an array of pointers. To get the index of the pointer which you want to use, you'll use the formula key of i minus 0 how did we get this now each and every character of the key is a digit but as it is being stored as a character it would contain the ascii value so to get the indexed value we use this formula so this would give the ascii value of the ith character or the ith digit of the string and then we subtract ascii character of ascii value of character 0 from it so by this using this we get an index now we see if a of index is null. If it is null, we create a new node. Next step, we traverse temp towards the pointer we created over here to a of index. In next step, we traverse the temporary pointer towards the node pointed by a of index. Then we end a loop. By the time we end a loop, we have created a path for the given key and then at the last character of the key you have created a node over here now in that node you insert the value of the key so that's how insertion is done in try now searching algorithm is similar to insertion algorithm over here also begin from i you begin i from 0 to the length of key point the temporary towards key compute the index and then over here the difference is that you see if a of index is null if it is null means the key doesn't exist in our try the key wasn't inserted in our try so we type we return a message that key is not found we return a value of 0 stating that the key was not found now now suppose a of index wasn't a null means there exists a path that we can travel still so we'll again traverse the temporary pointer towards the node that a of index points to and then by the end of for loop we reach towards the node that the last element the last node inside the last node has and then we'll print the value that is there in it as I explained in the algorithm we implement the insert function like this the search function like this for now we are inserting just three values that are shown while explaining in the diagram that is 10045 john 36253 clay 10153 peter let us compile the program so now let us enter the key that we want to search for First, let's try a successful case 10045. 
So here we see that the key is found. Now other value is three zero two five three. The 30253 wasn't there in the try. We didn't insert 30253, so the key was not found. Now let us consider 36253. So 36253 was found and its value was clay. Let us search for 10153. Key was found. Let us take another example where key doesn't exist. Now over here, what we see that. For every search, the approximate search time is almost the same. Hence, this supports that try. The search time of a try is constant, and it depends only on the length of the key. So, for now, the length of the key was five everywhere. So, its search time would depend only on the length of the key, which is five in this case.